Okay, I want to show you guys how to install Torch Vision C++ because we're going to be using this for um, other videos. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is actually go to the PyTorch Torch Vision um, repository. It's right here. I'll leave a link in the description. And from there, what you'll do is you'll go to code. And again, I use SSH, but you'll clone this. So you'll go ahead, type git clone um, in this repository, this link right here. Once you do that, um, you'll follow these instructions down here. So over here, basically, over here, you'll follow these instructions. It's in the same repository. So you'll make a build directory, you go into it, and basically you just run all these commands and install it. So I've already done this already, but I'll just go through an example. So I have my build directory already made. Um, let me show you, it is right here. And I'll go into it. And then I'm already in my condo environment. So you'll do the same thing as we did in other tutorials where you can um, actually link your libtorch to it. So you can actually go into the CMakes file and actually write your CMake path here, right? So CMake prefix path. You should already know this already, but and then you would go and type in your uh, directory to it. Um, also, you have the option to turn CUDA on. Uh, I, I was having troubles with it, so I kept it off. I was still able to get everything working though with CUDA, so um, it's your choice if you want to leave it on or off. It should still work. Um, from there, you go into your build directory. Uh, then you'll run the CMake, um, the CMake file. So same thing as we did before. Just make sure you're either um, have the CMake prefix file in the inside of the uh, CMake file, or you can actually run things from your condo environment. So I believe if I can look for this, you can actually run something like this. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to I'll, I'll leave the code to this in the description where you can actually run something like this inside of your using your condo environment and once you run it, you run sudo make install and do all the other stuff and then from there you want to test this out so inside of this repository you have an examples folder if I can spell right and you have this C++ in Python so we're working with C++ so We'll go there. We have this hello world, this hello world um example. So let's go in there and let's see the files here. So I already made a build directory, so you can do that right now. And let's open the main file. And as you can see, um, it's downloading this ResNet 18 model. Um, it's putting it, in, it into evaluation mode, and then from there, what it's doing is it's testing it on input so it's test taking in a this one by three by ten by ten input and make it a forward pass and also it's also doing it on the GPU too if you have CUDA installed so you would go ahead do the same thing as you did before go into your build directory I already um, did the C make and I have this hello world right here now when you run this this is what you'll have and you see I have, I have two outputs. Um, if you do not have CUDA, you will only have one output. But because I have CUDA, I do have two. So one was ran on the CPU, the other was ran on the GPU. So I'm going to be using this for further, for further videos and examples and so on and so forth. So if you want to follow along, you could just you know go ahead and follow the instructions and download everything.